and I know this is not an alligator lizard, but we'll get to the alligator lizard in hey a second. Hey guys, second. welcome back to another video on this channel, and um, today I'm doing a care sheet on an alligator lizard, so I'm going over the complete care, um, and also this works if you caught an alligator lizard in the wild and you want to keep it, this is also um, how you would care for one. So yeah, let's get started with this video. Okay, so you can see I have my alligator lizard back there. Now, this is a warning. If you do get an alligator lizard from the wild, it will try to bite you. So um, don't get one if you don't want to be bitten, or else you can just try to wear gloves when you're holding it, or just try to not be bit, because you can see get him out he won't bite me but if I do let him get loose in my hand he will try to snap back and bite me and I've also tamed him a little so that's why his mouth isn't wide open right now so uh, yeah okay so now the care so first the tank size you can see I have a pretty big tank for my alligator lizard it's a 20 gallon, so um, alligator lizards are long. I would definitely recommend one per, per 20 gallon, but you can probably get away with two for temporarily, not that long. Definitely don't do an alligator lizard in a 10 gallon. It's not, it's not ideal. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say definitely don't do it, but it's not ideal. Um, an alligator lizard needs space to live, and it should be in a pretty large tank that it can run around in. So, yeah, 20 gallon. They need some place to hide, which you can see I have in these plants, which he loves. And I also have this here that he can go inside of. Um, alligator lizards need a substrate and do not use reptile carpet. You need an actual real substrate because they will, they, alligator lizards will bury themselves at night. They will dig under the dirt and bury themselves and that's how they'll sleep. So they really need a substrate and do not use sand. I know they sell sand at the pet store. I know they sell sand at the pet store, and I know that it looks like it would be cool, but do not use sand. It will it will hurt your alligator lizard and possibly kill them. It they will if they get too much of that sand inside them, which they do get the substrate inside them when they eat. They accidentally get some of the substrate. Um. So. Um, yeah, do not use the best substrate to use is Eco Earth, um, which is not sponsored. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's like the best substrate that I think is um, the best substrate for uh, blue belly lizards, alligator lizards, and moles. Um, so yeah, definitely check out that. Alligator lizards eat live food, they need live food. So that's like they just need live food. So if you if you can't feed them live food, if you're afraid of bugs, or if you're someone in your family is, you do not want to get an alligator lizard. Um, unless you're okay with handling bugs and they're okay with you having them, because um yeah, just alligator lizards do need live food. They will eat. Crickets, they will eat mealworms. If you get them from the wild, I recommend you feed them uh, crickets. Um, but they will eat mealworms. I caught this one from the wild and I ate a mealworm last night. So, yeah. Um, they also do need water. I you can see his water bowl is filled up. It should always be filled up. Um, you can fill it up once a day. Um... Yeah, so that's, okay, also alligator lizards need, um, a good time to feed them is every day if you want to give them a medium 
cricket or I recommend giving them a medium cricket every day or you can give them a large cricket once every other day but um, it's ideal for a medium one every day um, or you could do mealworms but if you do you feed them mealworms I recommend not always feeding them mealworms because they could get fat if you do that and also on occasions you can feed them wax worms but those are just for like a treat yeah so there he is um, you can see they call them alligator lizards because they have these scales on their back that are they're like armor and they it makes them look like an alligator lizard so that's why they call them alligator lizards um, so yeah also another thing that is very important is heat alligator lizards need a heat lamp um, this tank is coverless it's actually my first coverless tank um, I have a clip here which is holding up this heat lamp and this UVB came with a clip this UVB UVA um, this is basically to keep them healthy this one here you need both a UVB light and a heat lamp okay so UVB bulb reptile basking bulb and you need two of these lamps to hold them I recommend getting a cover on your tank but I didn't have a cover so I tried to do no cover and it's working out pretty good so you can also do that um, but yeah that is pretty much um, the alligator lizard um, I can't really think of anything else so. so yeah that about wraps up this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, please hit, uh, turn the notifications on so you can see my future videos. Subscribe, like the video. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.